And, and, and this was on stage and off stage about getting back on television and get, getting back on the movie screen. What was your sense of how it was all received? I, I read the Washington Post, uh, you know, they say it was kind of back and forth, booze, cheers, booze, cheers. Really hard to read the crowd, but then when you think about the type of people that would spend hundreds of dollars to go see Charlie Sheen just sit in a chair and talk and smoke a cigarette, uh, you know, what can you expect? There, there was a, uh, a good admixture of, of booze and catcalls and cheers. So, you know, I, I just took it all in stride. Uh, the best part was we, we all had fun, and I think Charlie had fun too. Is it, is it, I know you say it's unorganized, but is it a show? Is it, you know, is it a, I know there's a comedian, is there music, what else is going on? Yeah, there's a live guitar player who stands there and he, he sort of plays uh, audio rim shots, you know, sort, sort of like guitar rim shots after punch lines. There's a, an audio visual sort of presentation, a, uh, a video, uh, Charlie's got this YouTube video that he showed that he, he re-edited as well. Uh, my portion of the program, and this is really what got Charlie pretty big in the media, if you remember, he did this series of radio interviews, mm -hmm. and basically my job was to sit there in a chair and conduct a radio interview. Uh, he had no idea what I was going to throw at him. Uh, one, of the, uh, one of the other questions that I asked him was uh, if, if he were in control of the uh, air traffic controller situation, what would he do to keep these, these guys awake? And after a long, pensive uh, moment, he said, I think Adderall would work for these guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, we should not be surprised by that. We have 15 seconds. The cool thing about this, and I did not know this beforehand, the moderators, you, you get paid money, but there's a deal. Tell me uh, how that works out. Paid money, $5,000. And Charlie was kind enough to say, I'll give you $5,000 to pick a charity of your choice. And I, I, w I was thrilled. And, and, and I would like to keep that money local. I'm thinking... Uh, Perhaps Wounded Warriors mm -hmm. would be a, uh, a good organization. All right, well, that is cool. Uh, Tommy Griffiths, you're part of history now, being part of this violent torpedo of <laughs> truth show. Thank you very yeah. much, Tommy Griffiths from Big 100.3. Yeah. We appreciate it. Hope you had fun last night. Yeah, John Wilkes Booth was part of history, too. <laughs> <laughs> good point. <laughs> All right, Tommy, we'll see you soon. <laughs> Well, Fox 5 is marking Earth Day with our Haul Your Hazards recycling event on Friday. We'll have more on that in just a moment. But first, we are finding out more about what hazards you should think about removing from your home. And for more on that, we go to Paul Raphael. He is at the Shady Grove Process. But now that I've met you, I, I actually feel a lot better. Oh. <laughs> yeah, see, I'm just a regular girl. I put my comfortable underwear on one leg at a time. Although, actually... Today, I accidentally put two legs through one hole because I was driving, but... Visit ChrisCooleyCamp.com. Premier partners include Bridgestone and integrated sports medicine and physical therapy. Register today. You're watching News 4 at 4. Hey, we've got some breaking Charlie Sheen news right here in our own backyard. <laughs> the actor and media spectacle is running a bit late, and now his show will start later tonight than originally scheduled. A uh, local radio personality is going to be moderating tonight's show. The big morning show host, Tommy Griffiths, Griffiths of Big 100.3, joins us now with a preview. So tell us what you know about his schedule. He's been way out on the West Coast. So he's Charlie got a long Sheen way to fly. had to go back to the West Coast in Los Angeles because of a court date. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure on the particulars whether it's, it's a custody battle or some sort of preliminary hearing with the courts, but this is delaying his show, which was supposed to start at 8 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Now we're told 9 o'clock. Who knows what time Charlie will get here. The show will go on. It's just a matter of, of what time. They're, they're telling me 9 o'clock. Okay. It could be 9.30, but the audience will just have to be patient. And worth waiting for. And worth waiting for. <laughs> hey, so tell me, how does it work? Are you going to ask him about things like the, the, the court appearance this morning? Are there parameters? Absolutely. What kinds of things are you going to throw at him? There, there are no limits. But if, if you remember when, when Charlie sh first made his splash, it was on radio shows right. uh, across the country. Right. He would say all these inflammatory things that caught everyone's attention. And the format of... His show on stage is very similar to a radio show, except we're live in front of an audience. So I will be asking Charlie questions as if I were doing a radio show, and there'll be the feedback of, of a live audience. Whether or not the audience can ask questions or not, uh, right. not, not quite sure. But from what I understand, there's also a big video production. It's a big 30-minute uh, video 
that Charlie has produced, almost a parody of, and I'm not quite sure uh, what the uh, what the video was from. It, it, it was a, uh, it, it could have been an NBC video that, that he had done, and he, he has edited himself out and then re-edited some sillier uh, answers, okay. yeah. more Charlie-like okay. answers. Some liberties. That's right. So, liberties. so Tommy, tell us, how did you get this gig? I got a phone call <laughs> late last night, about 10 o'clock. I, I, I was asked, are you interested in, in moderating the, the Charlie Sheen show? And, and I wasn't quite sure what moderate meant, but just as if one of you would yeah, be, asked, be asked to <laughs> moderate a presidential debate. Yeah, right. This is a little more base, uh -huh. <laughs> I think. Yeah. Uh, I'm there to uh, ask questions and uh, I guess keep the, the crowd at bay. And, uh, and and just have fun. How do you think the crowd is going to take to it? Because there have been mixed reviews from, from this city, you know, thumbs down in Detroit, Chicago through the roof, you know, two mixes, mixed shows in New York. I think the more pandering Charlie does to his audience, the better reception he will get. If you remember in, in uh, Cleveland, Right. And in his movie Major League, you know, he was a Cleveland Indian. He wore the Indians Yeah. Yeah, he wore the Indians jersey, he wore the hat. Mm -hmm. He went to uh, uh, New York. He had the, the Yankees hat on. Uh, which, I'm not sure which city he was uh, booed, yeah. vehemently booed in, but it just, I don't think he did enough pandering to, yeah. to get the. He needs the, to rock some red right. maybe yeah. tonight. You know, <laughs> yes. a little caps. I was thinking the caps jersey there would be perfect. Yeah. And, oh and gosh, is the yes. show sold out? The, there are just a few tickets remaining. Okay. okay. Yeah. And right. my only other question, the goddesses, they're going to be there, have you heard? <laughs> One of the goddesses went <laughs> home. Oh. And I'm not uh, okay. sure if that was out of boredom or if that was a, that was a, that was a court order. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Could be that. Tommy right. Griffiths, Tom, a big 100.3. Thank you. Have fun with it. That's I'm going to have a blast. All right. We'll yes. listen to it tomorrow. Thank All right. you. All right. Thanks, Tommy. Thanks, Tommy. All righty. Turning out of the weather, um, that should be, that's a, been an interesting topic all day today. Yeah, yeah you know, uh, it had to be a joke for you, thinking, you know, hey, you going to yeah. do the Charlie Sheen show tomorrow? <laughs> all <laughs> right. <laughs> Come on, man. Are sure. you sure? <laughs> Why not? Uh, yeah, as far as the weather is concerned, though, we're looking at a pretty nice night tonight. If you are going to stand in line out there, though, you may want to bring the umbrella. We are.